Hey guys, in this quick tutorial, I will show you how to add a hover effect to your VBA user forms. As you might know, I created some Excel add-ins myself. You can find all of those in the description, by the way. And in all of my add-ins, I'm using a user form and on the user form, I have buttons. Now, for a better user experience, I added a hover effect for all of those buttons. Unfortunately, that is actually not natively supported in VBA. However, in this video, I will show you two methods how you can still add a hover effect. In the first method, we are going to implement some VBA code and afterwards, all our command buttons will have an hover effect. In the second method I'm going to show you, we will actually not use command buttons, but instead we will use images. But enough talking here, let us get started and dive in. So first I'll show you how to add a hover effect to a normal command button. First, let's draw a button onto the user form. Now to add a hover effect to this button, we can use some VBA code. And for that, I found a really helpful blog from Manfred von der Nord. The link to this blog post is also in the description. So here's how it works. Basically, you just need to create two class modules. The first module should be named like this. So let me copy this name to my clipboard and go back to the Visual Basic Editor. Here, just insert a class module and rename it accordingly. All right. Now you just need to copy and paste the following code in here. Next, we need to repeat these steps. The next class should be named CL Hoover button. So back in Excel, I again insert a class module and rename it. And as before, in this module, I will copy and paste the code again. And by the way, since we don't have the hand cursor icon in the directory, I'll remove the following if else statement. With that in place, we are almost done. Next, we just need to initialize and terminate the hover effect on our user form. To do that, navigate back to the blog post and copy the last part down here. And then double click on the user form and paste the code in here. All right, and that is all there is to it. Now, when you execute it, all command buttons will have the hover effect. If you want to change the hover color, you can do that in the hover effect class by changing the following color code. Okay, so that was the first option. Next. Let's look at another solution. For this one, we will simply use images. In my case, I use two normal Excel shapes. The first one will be the default look for the button and the second one will be our hover effect. And as you can see, those are just normal Excel shapes. All right, so now back in the VBA editor, I'll just select an image and draw it on the user form. Now I just need to select the first shape and copy it to my clipboard. Next, I'll select the image and click on the following field. Here, I just need to paste the image using Ctrl and V. All right, so now we've got the shape as an image. Next, you want to remove the border style and use a white background. Lastly, you can also double click on the corner of the image so that it fits perfectly around the shape. Next, I'll also rename it. So instead of image one, I'll name it to button edit. Now, for the hover button, we can simply copy and paste our first image. As before, I'll copy the shape to my clipboard, select the image and paste it into the picture property. With that in place, I'll also rename it to button edit hover. By the way, the naming here is not important. You can name it whatever you want. I just want to make it a bit clearer for the code we are going to write in just a second. Okay, as a next step, we just need to place those two images exactly over each other. If you want, you could also send the hover image backwards so that you see only the default style on the form. All right, with that in place, let me click on the image. In VBA, as you might know, you have different event triggers, for example, when the mouse moves. With that, we can actually create the hover effect. So let me paste the following code in here. And here's how it works. When we hover over the default image, we will hide it and show only the hover image. And vice versa for the hover image. Lastly, you want to make sure to always reset it whenever the mouse isn't hovering over the images. At the bottom, I also included a simple click event just to test things out. So when I now run the user form, this is what it looks like. You now have a modern looking button with a nice hover effect. And of course, it also works when you click on it. In my case, I'll just trigger a message box. Now to make it even clearer for the user that they can click on the button, you can also change a mouse cursor. For that, just go back to your user form and select the image. And then navigate to the mouse pointer property and change it to custom. Now you can select the mouse icon. 
I typically use the following cursor icon, which is currently saved on my desktop. I'll also make sure to include a download link to this cursor in the description box below. Next, I'll do the same for the other image. Just select it, change the mouse pointer to custom, and insert the image. Once done, align the two images again, and now, when you open the user form, you'll see that the cursor changes when you hover over the button. Alright guys, and that is how you can implement a hover effect in VBA user forms. I know I haven't posted much VBA content here on my channel recently. If you want me to share some more VBA tips and tricks here on YouTube, then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.